So it was the reunion dinner party tonight. Now Jodie Lee is still away and she is stuck in an electrical storm at the moment, the poor thing. But she did manage to put up a video about Jay and Luke. So if you want to see those and you haven't seen it yet, make sure you check out that video. I kind of feel like I have done something wrong because but that's, So been who's the insecure one? You or me? Because I'm not telling you that you've done anything. Now Matt and Adrian, what did I say? I called it. I said those two were the ones that were going to break up and I was right. <laughs> and it wasn't just about the whole children thing. There was obviously a lot more going on. I feel like Adrian wasn't as into Matt as what we thought. She always went on about the whole energy thing. She had an issue with the whole him not being as extroverted as she was and lively. Now it's the whole she needs to have a text. Now she's saying there's more to it, but I feel like these are all very minuscule things. And yeah, things can add up, but I think at the end of the day, she just wasn't vibing him. She wasn't interested and she needed in and out. I do feel for Matt, he's left a bit confused because he doesn't know what he did wrong because he didn't do anything wrong. It was a communication issue that, you know, she said she wanted to text goodnight. She said that when she communicated those things, he called her childish, but maybe it was the way she went about it. The day after, he was like, I can't believe you're being in the mood with me about him not texting me back. He was like, that's childish. Like, if you're going to be going off at someone saying, oh, why aren't you texting me? I, I expect a text back straight away. Wah, wah. Like, <laughs> you're going to look childish. That makes you look childish. And you didn't say he was ignoring you. You said he texted you at 5 o'clock. He didn't text me till like, 5 o'clock at night. 5 o'clock is usually when people finish work. So to me, it sounds like he finished work and he texted you. So that's normal. That's normal. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't expect someone to put down their work and ignore, you know, important things to text me, but that's just me. I don't know. I know some people are a bit more, it just looks clingy. I'm sorry. It looks clingy. It looks like you're needy. I'm um, not saying you are, but it's just coming across that way. Maybe if you felt a little insecure in the relationship, you should have just communicated that. But I feel like it was just because she's not actually interested in him and she needed an out. That's just how I felt when I saw that anyway. At least it looks like Matt is free man now. So, you know, he can uh, move on to maybe someone else. I don't know. <laughs> You could have literally just said, a girl yeah. tried to kiss me what? and I pushed her away. Okay, That's yeah. all you had to say. So Jordan and Erica. Now the funny thing here is I was actually on the phone with Jodie Lee and we are laughing because it reminded it of her and me. I'm Jordan and she's Erica. We get into a massive arguments a lot and a lot of it is to do with me not communicating things very well. So I kind of can understand Jordan a little bit because you kind of find yourself in situations or something might come up and it might be something minuscule it might not be anything bad it might just be like oh uh for instance I threw something out in the trash right and I don't tell Jodie Lee about it and then she's like where'd this thing go and then in my head I'm thinking oh I shouldn't have thrown that out oh no I can't tell I threw that out so I actually make up a story or I might be like, I don't know. And then she finds out that I threw it out and then we end up in a big argument and it's not because I threw out the item. She doesn't care that I threw out the item. It's because I hid the fact that I threw out the item instead of being honest. But you know what's worse now is all the lies that he's told after this. I see what you mean. To try yeah. and make as if that, that, that 100% yeah, yeah, happened. Yeah. So I can kind of understand, you know, where Jordan's coming from. Like, you kind of get in a sort of situation and you don't know what to do. And you think, oh, no, I don't want to upset the person. I don't want to make them angry. So I just want to, like, gloss over it and pretend it never happened. But then the person finds out and then you get in more trouble. And the situation becomes really big. Well, Don't well, a hole for yourself yeah, here, Jordan. How about you could have... hole? When you're in that moment and the person finds out, you think you're in trouble for that item. You don't realise what you're in trouble for is hiding the item. And if you just explained in the first place, the argument never would have happened. So I can see where Jordan is because I can get into that mode where I'm like, I get so fixated on something that I don't see what the actual issue is. And the issue for Erica was you lied to her. You didn't tell her the full story. And that's what she was upset about. It wasn't the fact that you actually did the act itself. Um, she didn't actually give a rat at that point. So if he had owned up to it, it wouldn't have become as big of a deal as it was. Why would he not just tell me that? What, what, what did he say to you then? That nothing happened. Oh. Best thing to do, personal experience here from me to you, <laughs> just own up to it, say you're sorry, and just take full accountability. <laughs> Basically, just completely own up. It's just, it makes it easier at the end of the day. Own your f***ing shit. Own that you f***ing up. So I do feel for Jordan in this moment, and I do hope that him and Erica are able to work through their communication issues and that Jordan's able to, you know, be honest. <laughs>
I just feel like the whole way that I've been treated from them two is just shocking. I do want to say I feel bad for Bianca because it's a complete kick in the face. The fact that Ella and JJ go behind her back, cheat, and then they can't even end up together in the end. It would be so humiliating for her to have to go and see that. And you know, she's completely right. JJ completely cut out as soon as he saw her. He never gave her a chance. We didn't even have a chance. Like, it's so hurtful towards me. He claimed he wanted someone new. He claimed he wanted someone that could give him that stability that he wanted, but he ends up going back to his old habits anyway. There was a waste of time. It was no point to it. And I just feel bad that Bianca was the collateral damage in this whole messed up situation. And she didn't deserve that. It wasn't right. The experts really should have matched her with someone who was actually going to be a good match because she deserved that. So yeah, I feel really bad for Bianca and I hope that she can find love in the future. So tomorrow's going to be the reunion ceremony where everybody's going to be rehashing all their dramas over the season. And then that will be it. There won't be any more to see. I might be lonely. We'll have to do another series somewhere else. <laughs> okay, let me know what you guys thought of tonight's episode. Did you find it was enough drama for you? I think it could have been a bit more drama, really. I wouldn't have mind seeing somebody throw some wine on somebody or something. That would have been fun. Anyway, it was still a good episode and I can't wait to see it tomorrow. So see you guys then.